Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today's video is on an overview of PEX plumbing. So basically, uh, I wanted to do a little video on uh, the PEX plumbing because there aren't a lot of videos out there. And uh, this definitely will help uh, give you understanding and also people looking for homes and what's PEX plumbing compared to regular conventional uh, copper plumbing or, you know, basically steel plumbing or, you know, the good old stuff. You know, why is this one so different? Anyway, so I thought I'd give you a quick overview of what we have for PEX plumbing. So I'm going to walk you through uh, what we have in our new place and in terms of what's under the sink and how's it different. Now, uh, basically looking at this um, view over here, we have PEX plumbing. I'm, I'm in the garage right now, so it's the main water line. So how PEX is different, instead of using uh, like copper tubing and everything like that, uh, we have plastic tubing, but the fittings are definitely uh, different. You know, there's some uh, uh, copper and there's also some lot of plastic tubing as well at the same time. To basically use PEX plumbing uh, from an installation standpoint, uh, maintenance and stuff, and I need special tool, uh, special connectors and, you know, stuff like that. All right, so you, there's different sizes of PEX plumbing, you know, there's, um, you know, there's three eighths, three quarters and one inch and, you know, and those are the ones that I see out there right now. Um, basically, um, we got the, the red here in my uh, basement and we, that's the hot water and of course uh, blue is cold water and also you have this little tool over here, uh, you know, to turn off a, say, kitchen in this example then you gotta twist it in a vertical direction to turn off the water if you have it like right here we have it uh, horizontal uh, that means it's wide open and you know each one is connected through and uh, basically goes run the lines all run up upstairs so basically the the supply unit is over here is running throughout the house and you got to be really careful about these uh, PEX plumbing the negative is basically if you have too much pressure coming through the line you know any of these could burst and basically cause a water disaster um, so you got to really check your water pressure uh, to make sure it's not uh, overly strong is that the right word so too strong and basically um, you know, just make sure you have good maintenance on that. So, here's what we have, and you know, that's an extra drain and stuff like that on the bottom. And you know, the hot water is on the left side, the cold water is on the right side. Very good system, very good layout. And PEX actually offers the issue solution, so lower cost for home builders, and basically the homes that get more, you know, the newer technology and stuff like that. Anyway, so this is the, the overview of the, the garage view of how the PEX uh, central water supply unit is at. So let's take a look how it looks like if it's under the sink. So let me pause this thing. Hi everybody, now we're uh, back and uh, this is how it looks like under the sink. And basically you got the wet tubing which is the hot water and the blue is the cold water. I'm just adding some lighting here. So basically, um, you know, this is from the water supply line. There's nothing special over here. Just a cover over here. And basically, this is how it looks up. When you look at it, uh, basically you can see the hot water has a blue, and the blue water, a uh, blue. Okay, you can see the hot water has a connector, you know, the plastic connector connecting to the water faucet. And uh, the blue one also have a, plastic connector connecting to the supply line as well nothing too special uh, that's pretty much an overview if you look at uh, outside then you know just a regular faucet you can buy any faucet and that works fine so thank you for joining me today hopefully the video was helpful and I see you next time thank you bye